Hello friends, welcome to Devs Institute. Today we will see interfacing of LCD with 8051 microcontroller. Before I start, I request you to subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe button given below the video and click on bell icon for get instant notifications when I upload new videos to the channel. It's absolutely free of cost. We have heard about the LCD displays and LCD is a short form for liquid crystal display. LCD screens are used in calculators, digital watches, smartphones, TVs, laptops, computers, etc. But today we will talk about alphanumeric displays. Alphanumeric displays are displays in which you can display the numbers and alphabets. So there are various commonly used alphanumeric displays. This is 1 by 16 display. So 1 by 16 display contains just a single line with maximum 16 characters. So it can be digit or alphabet. This is 2 by 16 display where it has two lines and each line ca can have maximum 16 characters. And this is 4 by 16 display when where there are four lines and each line can have maximum 16 character. So today we are going to see how these types of displays can be interfaced with 8051 microcontroller. So interfacing of 8051 microcontroller with LCD. So here you have 8051 microcontroller chip and here is the LCD display. Now we will see one by one pins from LCD display and how they are connected to 8051. First pin on LCD display is VSS. VSS pin is connected to ground that is for power supply earthing connection. Second pin is VCC. VCC is connected to plus 5 volt power supply. Pin number 3 is called as VEE. This pin is used to give power supply to the back backlight. So here you have backlight uh, and then you uh, the uh, letters will be printed on that screen. So this VEE is used to give backlight uh, power for the backlight and this is connected through the register to the power supply keys of LCD. Then pin number 4 is RS. RS is for register select. So 8051 when 8051 is connected to LCD display sometimes it has to send commands to LCD and sometimes it has to send data to LCD. Maybe commands are very less and data is more but command needs to be sent. These commands are like clear display so when you have to clear the display or cursor at home so when you have to take cursor at home. So these kind of commands 8051 has to send to LCD and also the data. So when RS pin is 0 means when 0 is sent on this pin it means that the data which is from 8051 which is to be sent from 8051 should be considered as a command and when RS pin is 1 it data will be treated as a data. So this pin decides whether the data is a command or data will be used as a data. Then next pin pin number 5 is read write pin. So this is again read write bar pin. So when it is 0 write operation will be performed uh, that means the data from 8051 will be written to LCD display and 1 means 8051 is going to read from LCD display. Reading operation is not that much common generally only writing operation is performed. So if you are sure that you are just going to write to LCD display and you are not going to use read operation from the display then this simply 
pin number 5 can be connected to ground then pin number 6 is a enable pin enable pin is used to latch data present on the data pins that means when enable pin is low means when enable pin goes from high to low this transition interprets and executes our command at the instant when an enable pin is brought to low so this pin is low indicates that data is available on the pin and data is to be lashed then you have these eight data pins d0 to d7 so as uh, uh, you have eight pins on the ports p1.0 to p1.7 these eight pins from 8051 are connected to eight data pins on the lcd and by using these eight data pins data can be sent from 8051 microcontroller to lcd in some cases only four lcd only four data lines can also be used but if required maximum eight data lines are available eight data pins are available with a lcd display with which you can send data from 8051 to lcd so this is all about interfacing 8051 with the lcd display if you like my video please press like button given below the video if you have any queries you can ask me through comment section thank you